Hi everybody. Today we're going to chat through some of the frequently asked questions that we receive here at DIU. Ultimately, we are trying to design processes that are transparent and bring visibility to every step in the process. Hopefully the answers to some of these FAQs help. So question number one, how is DIU funded? Travis, would you like to take this one? Sure thing, Sarah. DIU is part of the Department of Defense, and um, like the rest of the department, uh, we're funded by Congress. And um, the Congress goes through a process each year called the Congressional Budgeting Process, and that's where uh, we receive our funding for our organization. Additionally, uh, we work with partners who have their own funding that they bring to projects, and so oftentimes um, we use money from several sources to move our prototypes forward and into production. All right, question two. Can DIU provide a template for the solution brief? So this question we've thought about quite a bit. On one end of the spectrum, we've debated, yes, why not provide a template? And then every response looks the same and it's easier for us to evaluate. The other end of the spectrum though, is we've really loved the creativity that companies have brought to the table, representing not just the team that they've built, but then also the products they've built and the problems they're solving with those products. So ultimately we've landed on, let's keep it, uh, let's keep it less defined. I would offer though the key thing to include in that solution brief is how your, your pre-existing product can solve the problem that we've detailed in the solicitation. All right, on to question number three. What are some of the red flags or deal breakers when evaluating a solution brief? First and foremost is lacking a clear solution to the problem that we've posted. We should be able to decipher quickly what it is you're bringing to the table and how you plan on solving our DOD specific problem. Second is not being clear about who you are as a company or an organization. Uh, identifying yourself clearly, identifying your partners, those things are both important. And finally is uh, not having a mature technology, not having something that has achieved product market fit. On to question number four. What are the chances of actually winning a CSO through DIU? Travis, this is a fun one. What do you think? CSO process is highly competitive. Uh, by the numbers, in FY22, we averaged 45 proposals per CSO. Uh, that being said, sometimes more, sometimes less, but it's not the lottery. The better you submit, the more competitive your technology is, the more applicable it is to the use case, the better chance you have of, of moving forward in our selection rounds. Question number five, does DIU ever grant extensions? I get this question a lot. In general, no. Occasionally we do for internal reasons, but I would plan to submit your solution brief by the deadline listed. Question number six, do vendors need to cover all portions of the AOI or can you submit solutions to only cover elements of the AOI? Some AOIs allow for partial solutions. Um, others will specify that they want a vendor who covers the entire aspect of the, of the problem. If the AOI doesn't say specifically and you have a technology that can solve at least part of that problem, then I recommend you submit. And in many cases, um, we offer the opportunity to partner with other companies as you move forward. Question number seven, can non-US domiciled companies participate in the CSO process? They can, and we encourage them to. Um, in fact, many of our projects allow foreign participation. In a handful of cases, we aren't allowed to take foreign companies, but in those cases, we'll let you know in the AOI. So be sure to check that closely. Final question. Do vendors need a federal team to participate in the DIU CSO process? The short answer here is no, you do not. The way that DIU leverages the OTA and applies it through our CSO, it's designed for anyone, regardless of experience in selling into federal markets. If you've got a product and you've been selling that product into any market, we'd love to hear from you. So that wraps up the FAQ portion of our session today. Thank you for taking the time and we hope that there was a nugget or two in here that is helpful. As a reminder, these questions all stemmed from the questions you've asked us. So uh, continue to reach out. DIU is everywhere. We're at every industry conference, every defense or IC conference. So keep the questions coming or feel free to reach out digitally.